Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh it's been a while since I've done a farming simulator vid. Um I think my last episode was on Camsden. I don't think there was even that many episodes of that out before I stopped doing it. But I know I did a lot of episodes on Ooh Bailer on. Um I believe that's the base game app for this game when it came out. I've done a lot on that, so I leave the link to that in the description below. If you're interested in going to see that, but this is going to be the new series on the on the channel, and it's Letting Farm. Uh, some people might recognize this from I think FS19. Daggerwin, if anyone watches him, uh, done this on his survival. So I popped it was out on FS22, and I was like, yeah, I have to play this and do a series on it because I love this map and I've never played on it before. So it was either this or Perbeck, but I've played Perbeck before, uh, not as a series, but. Um, yeah, I knew it, and it's, again, a brilliant map, but it's just the fact I've never played this. I really wanted to play it. So I've set myself up a little. I've got rid of some tractors. I um, swapped some stuff out uh, from what they give you, because I feel the stuff they gave you was a bit too big for this map. So, I bought that. Um, prayer for doing weeds and fertilizing, obviously. Uh, but the aim is probably to try and use the cows to spread slurry on the field. Eventually, but this is for the time being. That's the cedar you get uh, with the map. And um, there's a bucket there you get. Um, I got this tractor. They give you a John Deere. It's like a 6R six series, six hour series or something. Um, it's like 300 horsepower. It was a bit big for my liking for this map because it's very small. So I stopped this. And I kind of wanted to use a bit of older machinery. Not such new stuff. It's like a brand new tractor. So I said I'd use this like older generation tractor, uh, the 4955. So I believe this is like 230 horsepower, um, if I'm not mistaken, around that. So that's what we have. I did get rid of the class Axion we had. I think it was an Axion or Lexion. One, I don't know, it was a really big one anyway. This is a more uh, old school kind of class harvester, um, like air, late 90s maybe. Um, so, again, and a bit smaller as well. And I think that's roughly the same size header. Um, that's the wind roar you start off with as well. I didn't touch that. The more I swapped because they gave you the big butterfly mowers for the back and then the more for the front, the big triple one. Uh, again, I think this map doesn't really need that. The fields aren't overly big or that big that you need that. So, I got rid of that and got myself this Cavernland uh, mower. Um... Instead of the Massey you start with, I get myself this Fiat Agri, uh, the 18090. So, the Massey that you start with, uh, I believe it's 200 horsepower. So this is 180, so roughly the same. Um, we have a front loader, bale spike. This is a little bale trailer I found, I wanted to use it. <laughs> it's very basic. Uh, this is a John Deere baler. Uh, we did have a big class baler. So I did get rid of that and I gave myself this much older looking uh, John Deere 100 baler, square baler. And Culpeter you start with, uh, it's quite big, I believe both of them are the John Deere should be able to pull that. And I got rid of the class tipping trailer you start with because on Parbeck, uh, I, I was playing on Parbeck off, off camera, I just on my own, try to get back into the game. And I was using the class, same class trailer, and I was like, I don't want to use the same trailer twice. I know you didn't see it, but uh, I found this little, or quite big trailer. So this is going to be our trailer. That's all we have. Um, nothing else. Uh, Fields-wise, we did own field one. So I sold that, and I bought field 16. Um, because that's just a field I love. I also want to buy 15 at some stage. Uh, and possibly 11. That's the aim. I don't know how it'll go, but definitely 15 is what we want to buy so we can have this plot here. Um, Because this is obviously a bigger field and this is nothing, or a little bit smaller, I you start off at 100,000. So I reduc reducted uh, down to 75, so took 25 grand off. Um, I think the difference between this field and this field was something like that. Wasn't far off. Uh, but also we're starting with less horsepower tractors. So... Yeah, but anyway, let's get in. Um, I don't know what to start with. This is ready to harvest. I believe it's lentils. There's also a lot of, uh, yeah, 
the where am I going? Here. So we have the usuals. Um soybeans, potatoes, they're all in-game stuff. Sorghum, grapes. I, think, I believe these are all in-game. That one as far as I see radish. Then we have rye, millet, poppy seeds, mustard seeds, beans, peas, lentils, carrots, onions, hops, black seeds, grape, bee, whatever they are, it must be green grapes. The other ones must be red grapes. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, we have alfalfa and clover, which I believe is like grass. I've never done them before, but I definitely want to do alfalfa. I believe it's like grass and you mow it and do silage with it. Clover, I think you do the same. I'm not too sure. Uh, hemp grass, uh, buckwheat, chickpeas, rice, lavender, beetroot, silage, sorghum, which we definitely have to do. And cobble hedge, which I think is just a uh, cobble hedge, obviously. Uh, uh, it explains itself. Right, so um, we definitely need to get cultivate or get going. Um, I also believe our cedar can. Uh, no cultivator necessary, right? So, don't need cultivator necessarily unless we're doing uh, something with a planter. But, yeah, these three fields, I think we need to get. Or maybe field nine and maybe eight. We'll definitely plant these, and I think we're going to go with. Uh, I don't know. We'll see when we get over there. I kind of just want to experiment. Um, so into the John Deere. This is probably going to do... Ah, oh, it does start. This is probably going to do a lot of the heavy work. Um, I think this cedar requires like 280 horsepower. But again, the fields are very flat, so I'm not too worried. Um, and it's on wheels, so it's kind of just like a trailed unit rather than rather than uh, having to pull it through the ground, if you get me. So, yeah. Connect up to the cedar. Oh, we need seeds, so we will leave that there. And we will start to feed. Um, there's that weight block. Just leave the bale spike here. Uh, that one. Because we're going to need a palafor. We'll go by a palafor. Just the wrong button. We'll buy a palafor. And we'll buy some seed for that. Uh, I don't know why it's so laggy. Some of my sentence to get 60 FPS. All the deers. We have a John Deere. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to play on this map. It's such a cool map. I'm hoping to do a good series on it. Maybe two to three episodes a week. Definitely two a week, if not three, if I can. Uh, really progress through this. I'll probably be streaming some of it on my Twitch. So definitely check over there if you want to play the live. If you want to see the live. Because I'm not doing a live stream over there on my Twitch and then chopping my stream up and editing the stream and turning it into videos for my YouTube. So if you do want to catch it live, definitely make sure you uh, follow there. Uh, again, links will all be in the description. So we're going to need a path fork. I'm pretty sure there's just a one. Yeah. So yeah, just grab the plain old path fork, please. And then we need some seed, so I don't know how many seeds do we need. It's a pit we can't buy like a pallet of them. Yeah, I don't think there's any seeds in this. Um 1050 in that. Uh that's mineral feed. I'd like to buy more than just two bags. Although, like, that's a thousand and fifty. I think a bag is like a thousand, right? A big bag. Seeds. There are thousands. So that's two thousand seeds. So that should be low. Surely. We'll buy two anyway. That's all we have room for. Um.
quite hard to see uh, where I'm going with them, that exhaust and the air filter. Uh, but, try and do our best here. Man, I would miss that one, wouldn't I? <laughs> ah, I must have been so close. Hmm, could we get another two bags on this? Let's chance it. Um, definitely get another two bags on the front of this tractor. We have a fairly heavy weight on the back. Like a 2.2 ton or something. Oh, that Over on this. Yep. And uh, lift this up then. Okay, we can obviously lift it over, but we'll get the best we can. Close to anyway, that's important. Yep. Uh, oh, this uh, thing can fertilize at the same time. Maybe we should have got two and two. Um, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of the sprayer over there. So, yeah. Uh, it takes 1,600, right. So, it used one bag and pretty much not even another bag. This can stay here for now. Probably, that's not going to rain. We'll probably be back anyway. So, there we could. Should I? Yeah, let me go get four bags of fertilizer. Or maybe even two. Ah, uh, four. No, two. Let me go get two bags of fertilizer. And we'll throw fertilizer in this and fertilize as we're so on. And then we can do the fertilizer with that once it germinates. And yeah, that should be fine then. I will just throw these in here. Down at that last base seems like a good spot. Just out of the case of rains. I'm not supposed to leave these out, so I'm going to try and play it as realistic as possible. Um, hey, we are back with the fertilizer. <laughs> um, it, it's very expensive. It's like three thousand six hundred for these two bags. Um, it's quite dear. They're like eighteen hundred each. Uh, I was not expecting that. Um, but yeah, it has to be done, I suppose. I mean. We need fertilizer because we need as much yield as possible. Um, I do like the way the bag shrinks as it's being used. I think we'll get the two bags in here. Yeah, perfect. Ideal. So, just pull this back over the way. So, yeah, also, if anyone has any, like, quest they want to me to do, uh, just give a shout. I'd be happy to... Uh, oh, should probably close that cover. Huh. Uh, oh, this is uh, very wide. This little narrow track. Um, right, I know where one wheel is, so... In cab for on the road, please. I suppose it's actually quite heavy with full of fertilizer, pretty much, and seed. It will be a heavy machine. So I think this is where we're going. Yeah, so to get a lock on this tractor is terrible. My God. Right, so get out, open that. Things open in the way. God. This is one field. Um, that's someone else's field, which I don't know if we'll buy or not. Um, right, so the question is what we're going to sow. Um, well, let's unfold them. Let's have a look. 
Um, what can we saw more to the point? Uh, what time of year it is? Um, poppy seeds, I suppose, couldn't we? Because they give us something to do early in the year, in the next year. Yeah, we'll do poppy seeds for the for the crap. Because I have, I want to do some of the new stuff. So, um, find the one for poppy seeds. Now it's going to be fun. Is that poppy seeds? That looks like a poppy flower. That's poppy flower, right? So. Beacon can go off because we are in the field. Turn it on and lower, I suppose. Yeah, and uh. Oh, the lock. This tractor is terrible. Steering. Holy god. I also don't know why it's so dark. Yeah, for 3 o'clock in the, in the day. But yeah, I'll uh. Let's burst this over. Um, we are fertilizing, yeah, as uh, we plant, or seed, or drill, or whatever you want to call it. And then we will use that sprayer to, obviously when it germinates, to give it the second coat. The idea will be to hopefully use the cows to do the fields with slurry or manure. And maybe even possibly, uh, maybe use, uh, what do you call them? Oil seed radish, where it's like green fertilizer, and uh, possibly as well. So that's the plan. Okay, so I drove in. This is the field I did want to do. Um, but as you can see on the mini map, it's coming up as a like arable field. But for some reason, it's actually a grass field. So we're going to have to go back across the road and plant different field across the road. Is that that out of question? Why that's like that, I don't know. Um, we're also on that pad to the right. Wow, I'm crashing into everything. That pad there on the right is also ours. I can park some stuff on. It's getting a bit crowded in the sheds. I'll probably put a shed up there, actually. Um, so yeah, we'll swing in and do six, maybe. Um, uh, as I've learned, this <laughs> steeder is very big for this map. Even though it's the one you start with. Um, yeah, uh, there's not much we can do, so I don't know how in the name of God I'm going to make it in here, but we'll uh, give it a good go. He's opening. Oh, that's a mess, that is. I wish that opened in. Uh, anyway. Yeah, hold that. Also, I noticed uh, it did give us a double application of fertilizer on field 8. Because it wasn't fertilized like this, so um, whatever that is, I don't know. Whether it's just the first time you plant it or whatever, or seed it. Maybe that's what it is, but we'll do six anyway the same. Seven we leave, and I think we're going to ha start harvesting this. I did have to drive in this crop a little, because this lane, I came up this lane, and realized it leads into this field, and I kind of have to drive on it here to avoid the bush, and then to try and get out the gate, I have to drive here a little, so. But anyway. Um... Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up. 
Right. Uh, um, what are we doing here? I think we should just do something that we can get straw of. Um. So, like, wheat or barley. I probably should have done wheat. Yeah, wheat will do. That is definitely wheat. I have to sign away. I have to double check. Yeah. We'll do wheat because I definitely need straw. Because I need a few straw bales. So. Oh, we can't sow wheat in this fucking month. Oh, shit. Right, we'll have to wait till next month. To sow any of that. Because I'm not sure of these what we get straw from. So we're going to actually have to leave that there. I think we're on one day. Let me just double check. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can't do that. So. Let's leave that there. And I guess we'll just have to jump into Harvester. And go and do the Lindsay. Or the Lintels. Lintels? Lintels. Um, this is going to be very hard. To get this down here. The map is very tight. Also, the combine they gave us was a lot bigger than this, so, I mean... Just hope I don't get stuck. So it's not worse than getting something stuck in this game. It's impossible to deal with. Please, 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 please. please. Yeah, maybe the likes of this we should leave on that pad. Um... We should try and afford a shed and put it on that stone pad out there because trying to get in and out by that house is just going to be get a bit annoying, I think. So, we're only doing a tractor trailer over. Okay. So, after much maneuvering, I think this is what we're going to have to do. destroyed this whole corner but I mean we have a lot and it is double fertilized there's really weeds in it even though it weeds off so I don't know what that's about but so now we're gonna have to get this I pulled this up it's back in there for a minute I'm gonna do um let's just try and harvest as much of this corner as possible before we destroy any more take a while and uh, header mustn't do this. Oh, it did say it was compatible. So I guess I'm going to have to just motor on and do this at 4 miles per hour. Okay, so I have to go and change the uh, header because that was not working. So I got the C600, it's a much smaller header. I think it's actually for this other one seemed to be a lot more of a modern header. As you can see, like we're doing much a better speed. And the header isn't actually on the ground. The other one actually used to just sit on the ground and the comment was hard to push it. So anyway, all that out of the way, we should be able to mow this down fairly quick. Doesn't seem to fill quite quick, even though it's double applicated with fertilizer. So I'd say it might be like NOLA or whatever, and it'd be worth a bit more, but not yield as great. But uh, we'll crack on. This is a nice size field, so crack on and get it done. A lot of messing about there, my god. I have so much to try and figure out. But I got it done. We have a header that fits and works, so. Woo! Anyway, we shall start the time lapse. And uh, let's get these lentils harvested. Probably sell them straight away. Um, I don't think we really need anything like this. Uh, it was just in the field when I bought it. Um, 
pretty sure. Um, yeah, all straw for this crap pipe. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of just decided to get rid of it, and then we will probably cultivate and put in some into it. What well, I don't know, but it's just to get this out. Um, I think I'm going to prioritise cows, so whatever is going to benefit us in that way, that's why I wanted to sow barley or wheat or something in that other field. So we're going to need straw for adding down the total mixed ration. We're going to need silage of some sort, and we're going to need hay. So that's the crack with that. But anyway, crack on with this, and we'll worry about that when this is harvested. Probably in the next episode, we'll mow grass and figure out what we're doing with silage. There we go. Finally finished this field. Took a little bit longer than expected. But um, we are at the end of it. Oh. Uh, I did have to empty because I filled it so it was 100% and then 22%. Uh, it wasn't bad. It probably was going to be more, but I don't know. Maybe I, I, I've never done lentils before, so I'm guessing they must be kind of like a lower where they must be worth a bit more. Then the likes of the wheat and stuff, but they don't yield as well as peas or wheat and barley and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I have run out of time because that took so long to mess up with the 
headers, and then I also have to try and get a screenshot, which I have to figure out how to do with the commands and stuff. So I did kind of run out of time because um, I did want to sell what we had in that trailer today and see how much we make. Uh, as a matter of fact, before I go, I do just want to check and see how much they're making. Lentils. Um, just leave that there then. Um, save, I have to rewind and stuff, so. Yeah, uh, the market is up here in lentils. Lentil, 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 lentils. There's so much of this. It's amazing, really. Uh, I've even lost it. Where are lentils? I can buy it. I'm pretty sure it's all base game. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Yeah. Where the hell is lentils? Clover, hay, clover, clover, alfalfa, alfalfa, flax. Poppy seeds, lentils, here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're worth a tremendous amount, actually. Holy shit. Um, I believe we're actually at the worst of them. We're in August, aren't we? Which is the worst. But they're going to incline roughly to oh, 3,600. Oh, wow, yeah. Maybe we should uh, keep them. Uh, we're only worth 1,800. Yeah, we're in August, so we're actually at the worst time possible for lentils. Which is usually the same with any crop. Uh, harvesting time is where the worst is because obviously everyone is harvesting them together. So, but where there's none, yeah, uh, definitely we should store them then. Because we can make a lot more money. And yeah, next episode, then we will probably put some grass and make some hay. Uh, we do have to buy a tether, or no, we have our uh, yeah, tether. We have a windrower, so we need to buy a tether. Um, so that's actually great. We actually have number nine is a grass field. I know it doesn't show it, but that's a grass field. I think that's a sheep paddock for the sheep. I think, but anyway, that's a grass field. That's a grass field, and number two out the back. This piece here is the cow field, uh, the cow pasture, and I know that's a field, so that's, that's grass, that's grass, and number nine is grass. So that's perfect. Um, we'll probably do maybe two and three, and maybe put a shed up on that little platform there beside field three, uh, to put the likes of the combine and stuff in, because it's too awkward to get in and out of the yard. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If you like the episode, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit the subscribe, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Because I will be streaming this and chopping the VODs then into videos. But I will be making a video specifically for YouTube too. But yeah, if you have any feedback, make sure you let me know. Um, I'm, I want to learn more. So if you know stuff that I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. If there's stuff you want me to try out and show me more about the game, definitely make sure to leave it in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.